Louis Studs Terkel was a famed broadcaster, author, and historian, best recognized for his interviews on the long-running Studs Terkel Show. The nationally syndicated series from WFMT in Chicago ran for 45 years, resulting in more than 9,000 episodes. Among the famous guests who appeared on the program included Simone de Beauvoir, Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams, Margaret Mead, Leonard Bernstein, Bob Dylan, Martin Luther King Jr., Frank Zappa, and during the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, the then 90-year-old Bertrand Russell. Turkle was born May 16, 1912, in New York City to Russian Jewish immigrants Samuel Turkle, a tailor, and Anna Finkel, a seamstress. When he was eight, the family moved to Chicago, where he remained most of his life. He earned a bachelor's degree in 1932 and a doctorate of law in 1934 from the University of Chicago. Even though he was admitted to the Illinois bar, Turkle decided against practicing law, instead wanting to be a concierge at a hotel and an actor. In 1939, he married Ida Goldberg, and they had one son. Turkle joined the Works Progress Administration Federal Writers Project, working in various roles in radio. It was there where he met Oscar Brown Jr. and Richard Durham. One of his earliest roles was in Richard Durham's Destination Freedom, which ran from 1948 to 1950. From 1945 to 1952, he also starred in an unscripted television show titled Studs Place, about the owner of a greasy spoon diner in Chicago who encountered interesting people through his work. His political views were unapologetically leftist. This led to the show being canceled after he came to the attention of Senator Joe McCarthy and the anti-communist House Committee on Un-American Activities. In 1952, his most recognized show, The Studs Terkel Show, began running for an hour each weekday on Chicago's WFMT and would continue to run until 1997. Turkle also served as a distinguished scholar in residence at the Chicago History Museum, where he was the author of several nonfiction books. His first was Giants of Jazz in 1956. His first collection of oral histories, Division Street America, was published in 1967 and concerned race in Chicago. He won a Pulitzer Prize for the 1985 The Good War, an oral history of World War II, which chronicled accounts of ordinary people during World War II. In addition to a Pulitzer, Turkle received many other awards. In 1982, he was awarded an honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters from the University of Chicago. In 1997, he was awarded the National Humanities Medal from President Bill Clinton. He received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Dayton Literary Peace Prize in 2006, and in 2010 was inducted into the Chicago Literary Hall of Fame. He was also a recipient of the George Polk Career Award and the 2003 Ivan Sandroff Lifetime Achievement Award. Also at the insistence of Haki Matabuti, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame of Black Writers despite not being black. As a result of a fall in his home earlier in the month, Turkle passed away on October 31st, 2008. He was 96. Information for this biography was taken from the Studs Turkle Radio Archive website, the National Endowment for the Humanities website, the New York Times, and The Guardian, and from Wikipedia. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.